Hello and welcome everybody on a new exciting edition of Mantis Development Update for the community of Ethereum Classic. In this short July edition, we will have Stefan Loja, Developer Relationships in Mantis, who debuted on the last video, and myself, David Rosales, Project Manager in the Mantis team, who will present what the project team has been working over the last month. Without further ado, let's go into the details. Project team has been working hard over the month of July, mainly focused on the Magneto Hardford implementation and architectural review. Magneto Hardfor is the latest ETC Hardfor, which is based in the Ethereum Berlin upgrade. The Hardfor happened on the past 23rd of the July. Mantis is not compatible yet with the Hardfor chain. Team is working on the last implementation pieces and we expect a compatible and tested implementation within a few weeks. So stay tuned in our Twitter and Discord channels for an update. We have been working also on rewriting the proto treasury uh, proposal, considering the community comments aiming to be a simple governance model to operate funds for community and core development improvements, open to further changes via democratic voting mechanism. You will hear about it in a short time. And last but not least, Mantis client and wallet executables have now a certificate signature for Windows, so it is displayed as a trusted entity during the installation process. Handing over to Stevan and see you in a new edition. Thank you, David, and hello, everyone. I'm Stevan Loja, Developer Relations of the Mantis team, and I'm happy to share uh, what our team has been working on. We've implemented E64 protocol message version that includes the fork ID field in the Ethereum wire protocol handshake. This helps EVM nodes find compatible nodes more efficiently because when you're cross validating fork ID during handshake, it would disconnect incompatible nodes before going on to validating blocks before EVM executions, the state, etc. Mantis is using the latest Ethereum test suite version 0.1.1, and we're finalizing the fix for the latest uh, failing test. We've done a little bit of housekeeping, so we applied a Scala fix and Scala FMT to improve the code base. These are simply refactoring and linting tools for Scala. We fixed a bug where certain conditions in the synchronization process cause Mantis Wallet UI to freeze. So please do grab the latest wallet and take it for a spin. And if you find any issues, let us know because we'd love to fix them. So some of the things that we're working on, we're, uh, we're reviewing architecture around the scope of dealing with deep chain reorganizations, as well as checkpointing, which is part of a larger reorganization of how tentative chain segments are handled. So this is a major undertaking we're doing. We're still working on a load performance testing framework. This will just allow us to uh, put Mantis against uh, different types of scenarios. We're continuing to implement the Magneto hard fork into the mainnet instance of Mantis. We hope to get Mantis back on mainnet soon. Otherwise, the Magneto, uh, I mean, the Sagano testnet, uh, Explorer and Fawcett are available for DAP developers. And besides that, I want to thank you for joining us for this Mantis update. Please do feel free to visit our project repos and also join our, our channels on Discord, Reddit, and Twitter. We've uh, got we've gotten past uh, 1,000 Twitter followers, so I want to thank the community for that. Um, and we're also hiring, so please do check out our job board, especially if you're a Scala developer. Come on, come on board. And uh, thank you very much.